Welcome to Your Daily Dose, a devotion ministry of the Faith Baptist Church of Franklin and Middletown, Ohio. Thanks for joining us each weekday as we share God's Word with you. It's your daily prescription for all that ails you. And now, Your Daily Dose. Well, good morning, everyone. This is Matt Hinkle here from Faith Baptist Church, and I want to welcome you to today's Daily Dose. It's a good to be with you, and um, thank you for choosing to spend a little bit of your day with me. I always look forward to this and always appreciate you uh, being here here with me. Uh, I'm not wearing my glasses, but I can see well enough to do this, but I don't have my glasses on this morning, so that's something that's a little bit different, and uh, I'll probably have them back on next time you see me, but I don't have them this morning. Well, I want to share with you uh, from the Word of God from the Psalms, and specifically we're looking at Psalm 84, verses 11 through 12. A uh, couple of great verses here. Uh, I've always appreciated these verses, and uh, they've helped me a lot in different times in my life, and I hope that it'll be a blessing to you and a help to you today. In verse number 11, the Bible says, For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord God will give grace and glory. No good thing will He withhold from them that walk uprightly. So here we have uh, a wonderful verse that describes the, uh, who God is and uh, some of what God has promised to His children. Uh, first of all, it says, The Lord God is a sun and a shield. Now I think that's an interesting way for the Bible to describe God. Number one, it describes Him as a sun, S-U-N, S, not S-O-N. Now, uh, I should point out if you're if you are um, if you're maybe you're driving right now or you're you're doing something around the house and you're not specifically looking at your Bible. I want to make sure that you understand something. The Bible is not saying here that that the sun is God, uh, the sun up in the sky that we see every day that gives us light on the earth. Uh, this verse is not saying that that uh, the sun is God. We don't worship uh, the sun or any other object. The sun was something that was made by God but it is not God. But uh, here we have the sun used as an analogy or an illustration to describe God. And uh, there's probably lots of reasons for that. If you think about the, some of the things that the sun provides for us, uh, it's a really good comparison. It's a really good illustration of, uh, of who God is. The sun gives light. That's probably the most obvious thing that the sun does for us. It gives us light. When the sun is, isn't out, at nighttime, uh, it's dark on the earth. And, um, you know, in order to move about, in order to, to get anything accomplished, you've got to have light. And everything starts with being able to see uh, what you're doing. And so, um, you know, the first thing God did in the week of creation was He said, let there be light. That was the first thing that He gave us was light so that we could see and so that we could, we could get something accomplished for His glory. And, and so uh, God is light. The Bible tells us that God is light. So that's probably one reason he's, He is said to be um, like the sun. Uh, also, uh, the sun is responsible for all life on earth. Uh, you know, if you, if you really start to study this, and I'm certainly not a scientist or uh, anything like that, but I do know that most things that live on the earth uh, could not live if it weren't for the sun. The sun is a is a source that uh, that gives life, and that's another way that I think the sun is comparable uh, to to God and who He is and what He does. The sun gives us warmth. God also gives us warmth. Um, the The sun is an unapproachable fire. Uh, anything that's not of the same quality as the sun will just burn up and be destroyed in its presence and you know the Bible talks about God being a consuming fire and uh, and wood hay and stubble not being able to stand within his presence and so that's probably another thing that that is 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 in mind when it says that he is a son uh, the Sun gives us direction it rises in the east and sets in the west and uh, if you can see the sun in the morning or the evening, you can get all the other directions as well. And so that's another thing about God is He gives us direction. He gives us guidance. 
uh, and he gives us leadership. So it says that he's a son. It also says that he is a shield. That's a great reminder as well. God is our shield. Uh, what does a shield do? A shield stands between a soldier and danger, that which would seek to do the soldier harm. And so what this means is, is nothing can get to me that doesn't have to go through God first. Nothing can get to me that doesn't have to go through God first. And so um, it, it's a great reminder that God is a shield, that He is our protector, and that He keeps us safe and keeps us from all, undanger, uh, all danger. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31 is a great verse that says, No temptation that's taken, taken to us is, is not common to man. Uh, everything that I face in my life, someone else has faced. There's nothing unique about the things I'm going through. Uh, but that, the, the great thing about that verse is at the end it says that God gives us a way of escape. Uh, he's our shield. He protects us. He, gives us he, he always gives us a way out no matter what's going on. Uh, then it says in this verse, God will give grace and glory. He will give grace and glory. Now, I think that uh, you, you're welcome to, to see it differently in, in this respect. I, uh, but, but my way of looking at this verse has always been that God gives us grace now with only glimpses of glory and we'll receive the full measure of His glory one day when we're with Him in heaven. And so I think it is, actually is important that uh, it's ordered the way it is, grace and glory. Grace for now, glory for later. Grace for time, glory for eternity. Grace for earth, glory in heaven. And so um, we, uh, we, we find here that God gives both grace uh, and glory. Now I believe God will give us glimpses of His glory here on this earth, but it won't be until we're home with Him that we will receive the full measure of His glory. And then one last thing, it says, No good thing will He withhold from them that walk with Him, uh, that walk uprightly. Uh, what a great statement that Scripture makes here. You know, we as human beings, we have this tendency to always think the grass is greener on the other side of the fence. Um, we, we have this, this notion that uh, whatever we're doing right now and wherever we happen to be in the present moment, that if we were just somewhere else, we'd be happier. And the devil really works on us spiritually with this. He'll, 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 he'll whisper in your ear, uh, you know, if you were just doing something different, you'll, it would be better. You'd be happier. And the Bible here makes it very plain that God will withhold no good thing from them that walk uprightly. Listen, if you're walking with God and you are uh, uh, seeking to, to fellowship with Him and walk with Him on a daily basis, uh, you're not missing anything. You're not missing out uh, uh, by not being somewhere else. I'm a pretty avid fisherman and a pretty avid hunter. And anybody that's ever done any fishing or done any hunting understands what I'm getting ready to say. You know, when, when you hunt a tree stand and you sit there all morning or all evening and it ends up being a big flop and you don't see anything, after some time of sitting there not seeing anything, your mind starts to to wonder, uh, I wonder what's going on at this other place where I could have sat tonight or this morning. And we tell ourselves that if I was just there, it would be better. Or fishing, it's the same way. You know, if you decide to fish one end of the lake and you're not doing very good, you start thinking, you start telling yourself, you know, if I was just at the other end of the lake, the fish would be biting. And so we kind of do that to ourselves. And if we're not careful, we can do it spiritually. The devil will whisper in your ear, and he'll say things like, you know, if you were just somewhere else, if you were just doing something else with your life, you'd be a lot happier, everything would be a lot better. And the reality is it wouldn't, uh, but he's a master at making us think that way. God, if we're walking with God, he will withhold no good thing from you. It's a great verse. I just wanted to use it to encourage you this morning, give you, give you some things to think about, and I hope it's been a blessing to you and a help in some way. Well, I'll see you next time with my glasses on. And uh, uh, before we go, we'll say a word of prayer. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us today with The Daily Dose. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you, Lord, for your goodness. Thank you for your word. 
and thank you for its promise here in the book of Psalms. I pray that you would help this to, uh, to comfort our hearts and encourage us uh, in these difficult days in which we live. Uh, use us in a real and mighty way today as your people, and we'll thank you for all that you do. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, God bless you. We'll see you next time. Thank you. This has been your Daily Dose, a ministry of Faith Baptist Church. Subscribe to our YouTube channel today and click the bell next to the button to sign up for email notifications each time we live stream or release a new video. To learn more about faith, please visit our website, fitinatfaith.com, for more information about our church. Have a great day in the Lord.